So, this is the first time we've actually been with you guys since this happened. So, if you'll indulge me for one second. Oh my god, we did it! So, uh, I, I mean, we don't know where to start. I, I, we all issued praise and thanks to you, but uh, you know, you guys, you guys did this. You know, this was a huge leap of faith. And to see the community come together and evangelize this and get behind it and back it and make it such a huge thing, you know, we, we were like, threshold of 5,000, hope we'd make it. And you let us blow past that. And this is a reality. This is going to be produced after 40 years. We're finally going to have a katana. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. If it wouldn't be too time consuming and weird, I would come out and hug every one of you. But thank you. And there she is in all her glory. Um, emotional roller coaster, right? I don't know how many of you back the barge, hands up if you did. Oh, yeah. 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 Thank you, thank you so, so very much. It was an amazing adventure, really incredible story. Chris, pretty unprecedented, right? Like, tell us oh. what it's like for you guys over there. It was super simple. It was <laughs> really easy, smooth sailing the whole time that we uh, went, in, went into this. Um, smooth sailing. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about that one just for this. Uh, no, it was quite the challenge. We really wanted to make sure we could capture the utmost detail, just really go into it, go back into the archives, look and see and capture everything for this at this scale. And it is incredible. It is simply amazing the detail which this team captured and went into it, Mark, uh, that just every little nook and cranny is filled with something magical and, and awesome. It tells a great story. It is the deco. The deco is it's a little incredible. Thing. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And you know, Joe mentioned it's like 40 years in the waiting, and this is a very generational thing. You know, I'm seeing loads of people out there uh, who are at my age, I'm pretty old, and uh, the youngsters as well. So, like, in terms of three and three quarter inch collectors, I know there's a lot of guys and, and girls who are my age and, and younger, but do we have any younger kind of collectors that collect three and three quarter inch figures? Hands up in the air. Super young. I think that's quite young. So, we, we all back the barge, um, yeah, we can get it for free, and uh, I, I'm sure you, those of you who back the barge, you know what one of these looks like, yes, this is like, oh, um, I, I'll choose you, because you're right there, I would actually like to keep you this book, because, wow. um, um, like, it's like a special thing, come on. What's next? Convention exclusive. Maybe in the future you'll see them, but right now, only place to get them is down at the Hasbro Toy Shop booth. So that by doing the most I iconic con that we had not done yet, which is this one, F5-10. Also a great way to get that Minot creature into the line. So, great Han Solo item right there. And then finally, this item right here, I know, super cool, yeah, go down and get it. Uh, this is literally, <laughs> this is our biggest convention exclusive we've ever done. So it has that race centerpiece that's an early release, that'll be out in mainline later, celebrating that moment where she reaches out her hands and battles Kylo Ren. But this one is also chocker box full of uh, exclusive features. So it's got that battle ravaged Kylo Ren uh, exclusive base. It has a light up acrylic backdrop 
And also because Centerpiece is all about creating these realistic environments, it has a misting feature that my friend Steve is going to tell us all about. Yeah, sure, you may not know. Oh, yeah. Oh. So you can see that the, that sort of orange glow created at the bottom of the base uh, is created with some, some properly placed LEDs to really create that scene where the, the, the Earth starts to break apart and start to their base. And then to really further enhance the, the scene, we added a sort of piezo water mister. So you, there's a little reservoir in there, you fill it with water, and then it, it puffs out little puffs of uh, mist and vapor. And it really recreates the, the destruction of Star Killer Base as that battle happens. Really cool scene. Who says great? But well, we are all here to see some reveals, right? Woo! So Sarah is going to kick us off. cute factor, which is not a word we toss around too often around here. Um, Epically cute? Mm -hmm. there you go. Maybe? <laughs> Maybe. Okay. All right. Um, so this was a, you know, of course, it's been some back and forth with the design team at Hasbro to get these to a point of where they're at here, but um, I just have to say, which is actually not revealed here and is not actually shown down in the booth, is that each one has a sort of secondary Easter egg play feature to them. Um, so if you, I would just say my favorite is actually with Ray. So if you're able to get your hands on, on that item and get yourself a BB-8 figure, uh, that little Easter egg is a nice little touch. So um, I think that's it for Microforce, I believe. All right. Well, we had some um, reveals yesterday. <laughs> They're always fun, great, another great collectible expression. And so we introduced uh, Darth, uh, Wicket, and Luke, as well as um, some of the other characters that you see up here, and they're gonna be out later this year. So you can check out the reveals in our booth uh, after the panel. All right, so next up we have our three and three quarter action figures. Um, so one of the things that's great. Yeah. So one of the things that's great about having uh, the movie released earlier in the year is it gives us a chance to roll out more figures as the year goes on. So you can see some of the great uh, solo characters up here. And as we think about um, more and more characters, where where are we going to put them? I see? know, I know. Anyone that knows. What should we do? Anyone that knows uh, myself and the team know that for us, Star Wars is about incredible characters that go in really cool ships to incredible planets that battle each other to death for good and evil. Um, so in 2018, we wanted to bring some worlds back into mind, some places. We wanted to do it very differently and in a way that everyone can play with it. So really trying something new, we're going to go old school. Oh, wow. We're going to do big but affordable play sets. Um, the one on the left is 30 bucks. One of the rights, 40 bucks. It's made up this new play board material that we we're inventing and kind of working with. It's really sturdy, great to play with, come with exclusive figures. So we're going to try this out with Walmart and Target. It's exclusive, see how it goes. But I'm really kind of confident that it's going to be really good. Um, great to play and great to display. Plastic, there's features in there. It's, it, it's old school. There we go. So anyway, all right. So happy about this. Fantastic. All righty. Well, let's get into Black Series, one of my two favorite fan lines over here. Uh, we are going to start off with, as you can see up there, some Force Effects lightsabers. Premium role play is a core part of our line, and as you know, in 2015, we kind of refreshed that expression by making them more movie accurate with an accelerometer in there that gave us more movie accurate sounds. I've seen some nodding heads, I love them. We have them down in the booth, come and play with them. So starting off, Obi-Wan Kenobi, episode one. Very exciting. Oh, oh okay. 
So Mace Windu. So obviously great sabers there. Fun fact about Mace Windu, his blade is actually amethyst. I learned that yesterday. Uh, put that in the context. So let's say you're cosplaying. You have an F1 Obi-Wan Kenobi. Who do you want your friend to have? Maul, exactly. So we'll be doing Darth Maul, also in 2019. So as we've done it before, he'll have a connector piece. It'll be a single blade. You can buy two to have the full icon. Yeah, all right. <laughs> You can buy two of the double-bladed one. So that is our Force Effects line for 2019. Uh, Steve, anything else? I have noticed a certain amount of love for the prequels. I've been bombarded. Like, what, what are you doing, Hasbro? Where are the prequel stuff? Um, it's a, it's very special to us as well. I mean, Stevie B here. He worked on uh, Phantom Menace back in '99, uh, when I joined Hasbro. So it's kind of like drew drew me in. So um, we're not going to show you anything. Phantom Menace stuff or frequent stuff here, but keep an eye out for all those new conventions that we're seeing very, very closely, and you'll see some interesting reveals. And notice I use the word reveals in the plural, it's sort of falling in love with characters. So, just to reveal, we have our uh, Imperial uh, Patrol Trooper coming up. Um, really cool. I mean, Solo is it was great in terms of troopers and, and, uh, and uh, aliens, really funky design, but this funky design is not as cool as our next funky monkey from Solo. And that is our Rio. Yes. Yeah. 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 Steve, you had the challenge of making the forearms. Tell us, was it was it enjoyable? <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> no, it, it's a really is a challenge to get this articulation down. You know, it's got you know, four uh, shoulder joints and that little torso. So um, <laughs> we were able to really pull off some really great uh, range of movement while maintaining that really cool look. So this guy has some awesome design, awesome detail, and. Um, you know, we, we were working off of uh, great records from this film. They actually give us, we see maquettes, we see uh, images of the props and the costumes, and uh, we're able to articulate this guy in a great way. So you can pose him out a lot compared to your, your average figure because he has so much articulation. So there we have a couple more, couple more solo figures. Are you kidding? This guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> on, on, on uh, so there's some, more, there's some more solo figures coming. We haven't gotten here, but there is some more to come. But um, all right, okay, there's enough enough. I want to talk about Rebels. Yes. Yes. You guys give me a lot of stuff about Rebels, my goodness me. Um, it, Rebels is off air, but again, this is this weird community we live in. This fandom, if it's gone, it's never forgotten. It actually gets more classic and more ingrained in our psyche and in our heart. So, um, you've been asking us to complete the ghost crew, right? Okay, yes. come on, when are you going to do it? So, front and center, let's start off with our, our Ezra. Ezra oh. Bridger, alright. So, we're going to bring out Ezra. The big thing with Ezra is like, long hair, short hair, long hair, short hair, oh my god, they, you know, I can't win. Anyway, so because the rest of them are all kind of pre buzz cut Ezra, we thought we'd keep him with the long hair first, okay? So he comes with his uh, uh, Saber Blast and of course his Imperial Cadet helmet. Uh, Steve, something interesting on this one that you can tell us about. Yeah, actually, uh, our scuffing team was able to implement this in a number of figures, but this guy has a three ball jointed neck, so you get a little extra articulation, some nice subtle posing for the neck and the head, and you'll see this in a number of figures, but uh, it's a nice improvement and uh, innovation to uh, articulation for us. You guys are always playing around with articulation, it's great. All right, so we, uh, choices, choices. Do we go big or do we go small? Do we go big or do we go small? Do we go big? Well, no, I'm going to show off. I'm going to go small, yeah. but in a big way. This is by far probably the team's favorite black series coming out soon, and it's our cheeky little chop. <laughs> he's small. So how do we make him big? You're gonna love this, oh my god, I'm tingling already. This is such a great figure because that would be bad as well. <laughs> so Steve, why don't you explain all the components that go into this ridiculous figure? Chopper, he's complex. So we've got a lot of articulation here that uh, really interesting and fun. So the arms in his head, fold up into the dome of his head and, and are uh, hidden when he's when it's compact like that. The head is fully articulated. The little arm in the front pops out. The All the legs have functional wheels. And then that center wheel pops out, of course, to then insert the uh, flight, the, the thruster. So the, the thruster can be removed from the base, but if you want to pose him out flying on a base, then we can provide the base as well. He's inside. Yeah, inside. Yeah, all right, so let's, uh, so exclusives. Um, I would say that 2018 is probably the best year for exclusives we've ever had, and it's only getting better. Uh, and again, that's a testament to you, because our retail partners, they see the fandom, they see what you're looking for, they want to get involved and be part of it. They 
appreciate it. And it lets us do more. It lets us do things with more ambition and uh, sort of things that, are, that don't necessarily fit into our typical uh, line that you find, what we call mainline. So um, team's gonna show you some great stuff. Uh, a lot of these things uh, were actually sent out a few days ago. So you're, you're all gonna pretend you've never seen them. Yeah. <laughs> actually, really, really surprised. Uh, so we're going to start off, we've got our Imperial Shock Trooper helmet coming, great new deco addition. Um, some of the great helmets, let's split one open. Uh, so we are having Captain Basil with Photo Reel, one eye. Alright. <laughs> like, attention to, attention to detail. Um, the next one, other than Chopper, or before Chopper, probably the best figure that we've done in a long, long time, just from a fan point of view, is General Beers. Absolute stunning. Um, uh, let's talk about uh, a couple of ones that were just kind of uh, released uh, recently, but Steve will give a little bit more detail, and we'll start, go back to Solo, and we'll talk about Moloch. <laughs> Moloch, yes, really cool new alien creature from Solo. So, um, you know, the, the, the design here, this is a, a huge figure, so it's a, it's, it takes up a lot of space, it takes up a lot of uh, presence when you display it. Um, one of the things I want to talk about is the, the incredible detail that some of the, you know, the production designers and, and costume and prop guys, they put, you know, incredible detail into some of the props that you would never even notice. But so he's got a staff that when we zoomed in on the, uh, the head of the staff, we saw that he had, they had sculpted this sort of tortured souls kind of a thing <laughs> with these bodies. And uh, so what we did, our sculpting team actually sculpted a little guy and they repeated him over and over and over and stretched him out over this. This structure when we when we built or when we sculpted this figure. Uh, the rumor is we heard that maybe one of the prop guys is, his face is in there too. So that's true. Uh, Princess Leia. So uh, you know we we all love Leia, of course. And uh, now that we're able to do our photo reel process, I mean you can really appreciate like the sculpts were always excellent, really captured the likeness. But now that we can put the paint on in the deco and the printing to really match that sculpt, it, just, it looks just like her. So um, this is a, a different Leia head from the one that you may have seen in our booth, which is the Hoff Leia, uh, which is coming out uh, later. But this is the uh, Vespin version. It's a different expression, different hair, and obviously different boots, so different figure. Absolutely. All right, the Huntist. So we've revealed this figure already, so you don't have to act surprised. Uh, <laughs> but as you know, uh, there's an update on this one. We know that you guys want him. We want you to have him. He was originally slated for Toys R Us. We wanted to provide an update where and when you can get him. So as you can see, he will be at the Disney store, and the on-shelf date is November 1st. So we definitely wanted to just push that out and make sure you guys got that information. So. So that's the hunted, but then there's also the hunter. hunter. Is Chris in the is Chris in the room? No, he's not. All right, all right. <laughs> but very handsome guy. Uh, so the hunter. What do we mean by that? So obviously there's the thrill of the hunt, and we know that that's a great thing. That's a great part of collecting. We also know that there are some figures that are just too hard to find. Black Series has been around for five to six years, and they're, we're doing great stuff now, obviously. Rebels, New Entertainment, but those foundational figures of Star Wars, they were released five, six years ago, and they're just very expensive on the aftermarket. So we wanted to solve that problem, so we're excited to announce a new line, the Black Series Archive. Oh, yes, absolutely. So this is a simple idea, simple idea. We have figures in our vault, you want them, we want you to have them, so we're gonna put them in this line. So each year, we will release a tight group of four to eight figures, something like that, and elevate them, those are our greatest tips, elevate them into our archive. Uh, they're timeless, right? These are the timeless figures. This is going to be a timeless collection. We want it to be timeless expression, so it's gonna be on a beautiful blister card, also to keep those original releases special. So we're, we're announcing four items today, starting with obviously that guy up there. Who could it be? Boba Fett, of course. Absolutely. You can't have a greatest hits line without Boba Fett. Um, he was an easy choice. Now, obviously, we've been talking a lot about bounty hunters recently, yeah, right? We've got four LOM down in the uh, down in the booth. We have Dengar as well. We just talked about Zuckus, Boba Fett. Who else do you think we might be bringing into the archive line? Boston oh, IGD. That's absolutely right. Yes. And IGD. Absolutely. So basically, 
Within a four month period at the end of this year, beginning of 2019, all of the bounty hunters will be available at retail for you to get. So you can complete your bounty hunter set. Yeah. So you can complete your bounty hunter set. You can also start it and then complete it at the same time, which is great. So we have one final one. I don't know, that was pretty funny. That was that good. Was we just came up with that. Uh, timeless expression, you can't have that without the very first Black Series figure we ever did, Luke Skywalker. Excellent pilot. Uh, and if you, have, if you have eagle eyes out there, do you notice anything about that Luke Skywalker? Maybe in the, in the face area. Looks a little better. Photo Real Deco. So our new Photo Real Deco technology will be applied to all of our archive figures with kind of humanoid faces. Um, so even if you have them already, if you want to upgrade, feel free. So all of you, all of you badgering me to <laughs> this, this is it. Is. Here we go. All right. So that's Black Series on the Vintage Collection. All right. All right. Vintage Collection. Okay. So Empress um, you know, she, she's a phenomenal figure, as you can see. Um, if you were uh, lucky enough to come to our breakfast uh, the other day, you had to see her in person. If not, I apologize. I accidentally packed her and sent her back to Rhode Island. So Bye. she is somewhere over the country on her swoop bike. Over there. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, we'll, we'll show you soon. Uh, but she's, she's awesome. And we have another exclusive here. Um, it's our Legacy, uh, uh, legacy uh, TIE Fighter. So last time we had this was 2009. Um, but some really great updates. First time it's available where we've had the big wing tie in uh, vintage packaging, which is amazing. It's still got this great removable cockpit and pilot, uh, but we also uh, put a really cool new menacing gunmetal gray deco scheme to this too. So you've seen ties in different colors. This is the first time uh, that we've done that. So um, the quintessential tie in three and three quarter inch scale now available again in vintage with this great deco scheme. All right, so 2018, um, you know, I think we had a pretty strong year. Uh, you can see here that we've got uh, 20 carded figures and two vehicles, and uh, we're only getting started. Um, so, Steve, what do you think of 2019? That is not enough. That is not enough. Okay. Right. That is not enough. In 90, do at something the start of 90, we're going to start doing this a little bit more often where we're kind of filling in the gaps and allowing these sort of graphics for you to kind of go, Oh, that's coming when they're here, and then sort of help you kind of plan ahead. And as you can see, as we start to start to build out spring, we've got a few in there. You know, we've got a samurai, we've got Kartu, barge, your new barge, uh, with a very rare yak face. Um, and you can see all the TVA. So already we've got more in spring in 19 than we've had uh, than we have in 18. Now the big caveat in us doing this is that things can change. The numbers can go up, they can also go down, but we're gonna be very open and we're gonna start charting these figures as we release them. So you'll see this fill in as the conventions, the tour of the year kind of goes through. Um, so let's let's kind of fill some of these. I think, uh, as you know, we uh, we always we do repacks. We bring in characters that people find hard to get or are short packed, and bring them into the vintage line who have never been in. So let's welcome a few um, ones we've seen before, but into the vintage collection. The first one, I'm sure you'll be pleased to see because I know he was short packed like crazy, running out breath. Um, let's let's have some Scarab Stormtrooper. It's really hard to get, really hard to get. He's fan favorite, so he'll be hitting the vintage collection. We're gonna be bringing in the elite Praetorian Guard. Um, really, really cool figure. Um, the next one, yeah, the next one. Yeah, Revan. Let's do Revan. Why don't we bring him to the Legends collection? Why don't we start, yeah, let's have some, let's have some Legends stuff going on. I'm really interested to see what the, uh, the, uh, the pack is gonna be on this one. This is gonna be really interesting. Um, so loads and loads and loads to talk about. <laughs> Well, the, the only reason this collection is, is back is because of these guys, right? So maybe we, maybe let's stop doing the reveals. Maybe we can give them a chance. To yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. You guys yeah. want to reveal some uh, vintage figures? All right. Okay. Let's do this. Tell us why. Yeah. So the stormtrooper, you know, you need a great stormtrooper, right? So we have taken all the best stormtrooper pieces and put them together to form the ultimate stormtrooper. This is, uh, we were told. The 5 POA head on the Stormtrooper was the best Stormtrooper helmet we've ever done. So we took that, we added it to a vintage or a body that was originally uh, from the, uh, the Nimbin Trooper. And, and we put that together, and this is actually a Rogue One excellent, it's the best Stormtrooper we've ever done, put together in a Rogue One. So, love a chance to get the Donald Glover version of Lando into the vintage collection. Um, 
You may wonder, uh, like, that, that expression, you see that a lot on his face. Yeah, every, every single bit of reference we got from Lucasfilm, he has that expression on his face. So that's what we do. <laughs> Death Star, but about time! Yeah, Death Star going really cool. So, uh, and, and when they did Rogue One, they did a, a several new Death Star Gunners, some variants of their costumes. So we, uh, we took some of the best reference that we got. With, the, you know, with Rogue One being a newer movie, we had lots of really good new references, and so we, we created this version of the Death Star Gunner that has never been seen before, so uh, this is really very cool. So uh, there we have we starting to fill out 2019. We're going to do more as we move through the year. It, 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 there's some crazy ones coming, all right? There's some really, really crazy ones coming. But again, caveat, might go up, might go down. Don't pin me in the corner of the room and say, you said it was going to be 22. Um, so more to reveal as we move along, but um, there's just two more words to say as we finish out the vintage for this convention, and that is two very simple words, and that is photo real. I said, are you? Actually, at last, we've managed to get the process down from the six and a half, from the six inch figures down to three and three quarters, so we can get that really super accurate down, that small scale. Um, it's going to look amazing. So um, keep an eye for that. That's going to start rolling out beginning of 2019. Okay. Great. All right. A uh, few last things we wanted to chat about with y'all. So first is Pulse. So if you're familiar with Pulse, great. Basically, this is Hasbro's communication uh, vehicle with our most passionate and engaged fans, which is you all, uh, all you wonderful people. Uh, we've been doing more on Pulse as a Star Wars team in recent months, more content there. Uh, we did a fan unboxing contest. Uh, basically, we did a, a contest for an unboxing video, and we flew a fan out to Rhode Island to unbox again for the very first time an item. Uh, it was super cool, super fun. Uh, we're doing more user-generated content, and we have more stuff coming down the pipe in the fall. So if you don't tune into Pulse, tune in. Uh, you don't want to miss out on all the cool stuff coming there. So that's that. We also want to talk about distribution. So, uh, first of all, I just love that. I know, I hear it. I hear, oh, 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 what's he going to say? Uh, first of all, love that image. Basically, I just Googled Star Wars and distribution, and that's what came up. So, I guess there's a very well distributed group person, but that's the age we live in. Uh, basically, we, we, don't, we want to have a frank and open conversation with you, as we always do. Uh, and distribution is no different. So, first thing I wanted to say is just we hear you, like, we do listen to you 100%. Down in the booth, you know, we, we connect with you online, uh, different forums, different fan sites. Um, we know that distribution is a pain point. Uh, we're certainly not denying that. And it's something that we literally have conversations and meetings and, and we're working hard behind the scenes to try to solve that up because we know it's not where we want it to be. Uh, we talk about how it's very simple, like, you guys want these, these items, we want you to have them. We are 100% on the same page, and we're just trying to clear those roadblocks. So that's the first thing, is just know that we're absolutely on your side, and it's our side as well. Um, two specific things we just wanted to chat about. One is that uh, it does take some time. When, when a distribution issue arises, I'm reminded of kind of when we talked about old man Luke. Uh, you know, it takes, it takes 12 to 18 months to do a figure, and it takes sometimes as long or a little shorter to, to solve up some of these issues just because things are already planned out. Um, so when an issue arises, definitely let us know. Uh, we'll work to solving it. Uh, it just might take a while, so, so just be patient with us. Uh, one specific granular thing we wanted to share is that we've heard that uh, distribution issues can arise because we just have too many waves and we have too many repacks within a wave. And that kind of arose out of our desire to, to provide more news and excitement more frequently. If we have six waves throughout a year, there's more pulse points. But we've heard that just retailers aren't able to get to all of those waves. So starting in 2019, with some of these items we've already revealed, we're moving to less waves and more new figures in a wave, meaning less repacks. So that is, I'm seeing thumbs up, that is absolutely something that's going to happen. You will see that. Again, it won't be until 2019 because it takes a little while, so be patient for that. Uh, that's one specific thing. We've got more things coming, but we are working on it. So wanted to have that little chat. Yeah, thumbs up.